Okay then, time to build our dream, dream home in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. If you haven't done it already and you've come to this video learning how to build your home, you will need to go back one video and I'll make sure there's a card that flashes up now on this video so that you can go and complete a side quest for Ronson and Hudson. The name escapes me right now. You're going to want to get that done and then these are going to offer you the ability to purchase a dream home. Select the dream home option from Ronson then and... She's going to say it would usually cost 3000 but they're going to charge us half, which is kind of nice, but still quite expensive. This, in general, is going to cost quite a bit. I'm going to spend about five grand. That's about, think about how much it came to when I was practicing this uh, little build we're going to do. It is functional. It's going to use most of your slots up, and it looks terrible. Uh, I don't know if there's a great way to make this look way better, but I wanted at least one of each storage and all of the functional rooms on two floors. And so... This is how it's going to go. Just to double check in case you guys need the location on the map, because I can't remember if I've already said it. I have the memory of a goldfish. We are, of course, in Tarrytown right now. And because we've paid the money, we can now go over to this little stall right here, just to the north of the shrine, which is what we're going to do. Once we're here, we're going to make our way to this little guy. It's just down the hill. And he's going to get us to do a little building tutorial thing where we'll have a foyer and a bedroom, basically. <laughs> which... Uh, I guess having your own place to sleep is okay, but that's really not what I think most of us want out of this. So, let's just get into this quickly. Uh, and I guess I can go through the tutorial of how this works. The biggest thing that it doesn't really make all that obvious is how you get rid of things when you don't want them, which I'll explain in a second. But for now, just go ahead, place these in here. It doesn't even matter if you attach them. They just have to be within the ropes. Nothing else uh, seems to matter, which I find really funny. You can make these, like in a really precarious, dangerous position, and he's fine with that. But, like, one inch over the rope, and that's completely unsafe, and you're not allowed it. So, just stick him in here. I'm not even going to attach that, and then tell him you're done. Just feel like I should show that, just so you can see. Oh, yeah, that's all fine. Look, awesome. Okay, then, so... Now, I want to go over actually building a home. The ah. mechanics are a little bit tight. We get to place a total of 15 blocks, including the two that we just placed. So we can add a total of 13 pieces to this. My little uh, napkin math. <laughs> Joking. So we're going to go ahead and talk to this guy again. Um, and now we are able to purchase rooms. There's quite a few, quite a good selection, which is... Almost annoying with how tight the build limit is. I haven't found or know of any way to expand this yet. If there is, I'd love to know. But as it stands right now, we can go ahead and buy some rooms. To start with, I'm going to buy two of these. Did I buy two at once? Two of these. And I'm going to buy the back stairs that I'm going to put on. I'm going to do this in stages, because otherwise things get a little bit messy, and that can be a little bit annoying to work with. So obviously what's going to happen now is he's going to place all the stuff for us, and that's what we're going to be there. Now, you'll notice that there is, in fact, a way to store buildings. The way this is done is you need to place whichever thing it is that you are um, wanting to store in a clear area. I like to go all the way out here. And I don't know why, but it felt like if you just leave them there and don't interact with the ones that you bought, he kind of doesn't register that you want to have them stored. He thinks that you must want to use them. So just bear that in mind. If you need to store something or you want to kind of like just take a break for a second, that is a thing. I want to make sure this attaches to the front. This is obviously where a lot of things are going to be spurring off from. And then for me, I like to have the stairs at the back. I want the bed near the front. I'm going to attach this to here. And I'm going to attach the bed on, because I might as well. This is where I plan for my bed to go. And so we have um, some space to build with now, which is nice. I'm going to try to keep most of my stuff internal. That's kind of how I like to, to have this and how I imagine it. This extra square block that I bought, that's going to go on top. Now, this is actually kind of my biggest sin, because this is the bit that's actually going to look a little bit open. But overall, this is what makes everything kind of work, as it were. 
let's go back to this guy then. We can just literally talk to him to purchase ah. some more stuff. Now I want my... Um, ah. I want my... Kitchen. <laughs> I want my paddock. I want my blessing room. And I also want some outdoor stairs. Okay, hopefully that's not just overfilled the area too much over there. I'm trying to do this in order that I think is important, right? So hopefully you guys don't mind. So we haven't chosen any storage yet, which is kind of, I suppose, what makes my build a bit complicated, because I wanted one of each storage. That's not essential, I guess. So I'm going to put the kitchen on this side. That way, the bottom area is now my living quarters. We have the living room plus bed and kitchen, which is cool. I'm going to go ahead and put this paddock here on this side. Just because it works out for me nicely this way. I'm going to go ahead and put the prayer room. I suppose it doesn't really matter which side you put this on. This would technically be better downstairs. There's not really storage. Um, and I suppose if you wanted to, you could take the stairs off the back and just stick with the one set of stairs that I'm going to be using at the front. But this just kind of felt better to me. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my outdoor stairs on that block that's just to the left side of the foyer. It's over. Like this. So I actually don't mind it like this too much, to be honest. Um... Plenty of room to work with up here when you have it like this. But the... This is the tough bit because you can't reverse the foyer. If I could reverse this foyer, I could actually make everything look a little bit nicer and it would work. But for now, this is how I'm kind of working with my space. So now for the storage, if you want to have storage, like I'm going to have storage, uh, I'm going to put two um, weapon storage places on this bit. And I suppose, you know, if you wanted this up a bit enclosed, you probably could put the other one here and I have done with it, which might actually be better. Nope, that wouldn't work because you'd only still have two. That's what the issue was that I was working with. So, to fix this final bit, um, what I'm actually going to do now is get another paddock. Just because it looks better on the outside, in my opinion. And then I'm going to get one of each of the storage rooms. So the weapon, bow, and shield stand. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this extra panic that I have here, which I suppose is extra display space for my horses, which is nice, on the opposite side of the steps. Make sure the entrance is facing outwards, otherwise you're going to have problems. Put this one here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put one storage slot on top of there and then one on each of these blocks on this side as well. On there. Just here. And one just here. Okay, so that's everything installed. And this is where there's kind of annoyance that you can't delete walls, right? Or create walls. Because if we could literally just have a foyer on this bit and delete all of the walls off of the sides, that would probably fix um, the issue with kind of that bit just looking a little bit off. But as you can see, that is everything. We now have space for two horses. We have all of the storage rooms. And we have um, the bedroom and 
everything else without it being too bad. Hope that helps you guys out, and I'll see you all in the next video.